Let's go back to the phones. Michelle is on the line from Ohio. Michelle, what's your question for Adriel? Um, I hope I'm not wasting y'all's time. Um, I've been struggling with a doubt of my salvation for a while, and I come to the conclusion just looking at Scripture that basically the reason I'm not saved is because I love my sin and um, really have little to no desire for Christ anymore. So I don't know if I blaspheme the Holy Spirit. I have only cared about the consequences of sin and escaping hell, and there's no love for Christ or his people or his word or to be holy. So how can I hate my sins and truly repent and come to Christ? Mm-hmm. Michelle, you're not um, wasting our time at all, and I just want to want to speak to you uh, as a minister, as a as a Christian, and plead with you and say, um, well, well, first, the hope that we have for salvation, for the the grace of God in our lives, isn't rooted in how much we love God. I mean, it's easy to look at our shortcomings, our failures, even your own love of sin, and say, um, well, I, I must be totally lost and condemned. God must not be for me because look at how, how terrible I am. And yet we need to remember that God demonstrated his love for us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. In other words, uh, it's, it's the love of God that came to us in our sinful condition that gives us hope. And we have that hope through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Satan would want to convince us and convince you that because you love your sin, you're hopeless, um, that God is done with you, that he's through with you, that it doesn't matter what you do. Um, but that's a lie from the enemy meant to get you to despair and faithlessness and hopelessness and just to, you know turning away from the Lord. Our hope, your hope, needs to be in the crucified Son of God who bore the penalty for our sins so that by believing in him we might be forgiven. And if you know you're in a position right now where you could say, God, I I just don't, as I look at my life, I don't love you. I know that I don't love you. I know that I love my sin, um, that I don't have any desire or affection to be around your people, to love your son. But you, you recognize something about yourself that isn't right, that isn't in line with Scripture. This is not how we're called to be, obviously. And so I would say, Michelle, confessing that to the Lord and saying, God, here's where I'm at right now. This is how I feel. I I feel like I I love my sin. I want my sin more than I want you. Um, I know that I don't have a passion at all, a love for you, for your church, but I confess that to you. And Lord, I pray help me. Have mercy upon me, a sinner. You might not even feel like you want that, but I believe that you can come to the Lord honestly confessing that this is where you're at, and that when you come to the Lord with that honest confession, that he hears you and that he extends to you his grace. And and Michelle, you're not alone. You know, it's interesting. When I read the, the prayers of many of the godly men and women who have gone before us, some of the prayers even of the church fathers, um, there are prayers that they will pray like, God, whether I desire it or not, save me. <laughs> because they recognize that oftentimes our desires, our affections are disordered, that we we actually want the wrong things. We want sin. And so we plead with God and we say, Lord, transform my desires so that I love you more than I love my sin. I see right now that that's not the case, but I confess that to you. Those disordered desires as sin have mercy upon me, a sinner. And Michelle, when you go to God through Jesus Christ, truly with that prayer, he does receive and forgive you. Satan would say to you, no, he doesn't. You've sinned too much. But Satan is a liar. And Jesus Christ and his blood are sufficient for you. Lay hold of that promise, that grace that God extends to you even now through my words 
and the preaching and promise of the gospel that if you turn to the Lord, confessing your sins, the blood of Jesus Christ is sufficient to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And that's precisely what John says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so, Michelle, let me just, let me go back to you for, for a moment. Would you say that while you know that you desire the wrong things, you don't desire Christ, you desire your sin, would you say that you could confess that and say to God, God, I know that this is wrong, have mercy upon me. Could you do that? Yes, I can do that. And sometimes, let me just say, that's all we have. Sometimes all we have is, Lord, help. Help, Lord. Because I know that I don't love you like I should. And in fact, each and every one of us has to say that because we don't love God perfectly. You're going to God honestly. And when you go to God honestly, the, the, the Psalms say he's near to all those who call upon him, who call upon him in truth. And that's what you're doing. And so I want to just take a moment right now and pray for you and lift you up to the Lord and ask him to pour his great grace out upon you, even as you confess your need of him. Father, thank you for Michelle, Lord. And she's in the middle of a, a real spiritual battle right now where the evil one is telling her that it's hopeless for her, Lord. That her sins are too great for your grace. That the blood of Jesus Christ is not sufficient for her. I pray, Lord God, that you would silence the whispers of Satan and that you would help her to see with clarity, Lord, the power of the gospel even for her, that the blood of Jesus, your son, is sufficient to purge all our sins, can deal with our disordered desires that there is grace for those, Lord God, who come to you saying, help, I know that I don't love you like I should. I know that I love the wrong things. Help. Would you help, Lord God, our sister Michelle right now? Would you fill her with your spirit and draw her closer to yourself and give her that hope that is found in the forgiveness of sins through Jesus and the grace that you show for us sinners? Be with her, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.